ago, uh, saying, we want to commission you to do something here at the Open Space Gallery. What do you have in mind? And uh, at this time, two years ago, I knew, like in 2012, there is like a celebration of these two composers, which I always uh, learned so much from, namely the Chinese and the So it's this year, not just open spaces for this, for this anniversary, it's also like a centennial celebration of these two composers. Uh, and I thought I want to dedicate uh, this kind of celebration, open space for the, the composer of the hundred. And uh, so this should kind of be uh, a focus and, and uh, uh, yeah, focus on, on this installation. And as a sound sculptor, it's always hard to travel. Nobody wants to pay for the expenses of shipping and, and, and freight or whatever. So I had to come up with some low budget, you know, like I, I just, I want to be on the ferry traveling only and not by car or whatever. So I only want to bring a few things. So we have to find the other things over here. So the idea was, okay, let's find some pianos. We take them apart. Uh, people have pianos in their basements, in their garage. They want to get rid of it. So let's get this kind of pianos where we can uh, use, again, give them another life. And uh, at least have their last moment, their last few weeks in front of an audience. <laughs> And uh, so that's how it happened here. It was a lot of effort from open space with everybody to actually find these instruments. And uh, and then of course there was uh, I was here in January to uh, work with the students to get them kind of apart, get rid of the keys, get rid of the uh, hammers and everything, so they would be more exposed. So so we just would use the inwards. Of, of the piano, and this goes back again 70 years ago where, when John Cage and Conlon and Carroll were starting to experiment what happened when you put certain kind of objects between the strings and, and put them into the soundboard and, and make the sound <coughs> happen in a different way. So today, 70 years later, we have a completely different technology and we uh, can access uh, or make the strings vibrating with complete different means uh, and not just with a player piano roll or with a, a pneumatic piano. So this was the idea to get the students involved to learn about this old-fashioned technologies combined with the newest and, uh, and even to um, use like, uh, it's, it's not a phone but some kind of other object here, some, uh, uh, or some other kind of uh, gadget, like the iPod, and whenever I uh, select a certain kind of, uh, let's see, uh, I have different, both the sequences are on here, and when I, see which should I make the short one here, when I push the button here, mm -hmm. and it's quiet,
comes here to the audience, uh, to the space, to the gallery, can can activate. Similar like when, when I push the button and and uh, and want to hear the uh, the scratchers, for example, who who scratch the uh, like each like each color relates somehow to, to this to this in instrument. And when I want to play the green, like with the uh, color scanner, see the green image, and then suddenly. Uh, the green one will, will start to, to, to play and, uh, and then it's going to hit up
just have to leave them at home and come here and, and listen what's going on because none of the sounds are amplified, synthesized or manipulated. It's a pure sound which comes from this uh, three groups of instruments. And, and even when it, when it sounds like, uh, like we had it before, like, uh, like this uh, long sustained sus 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 sounds, like uh, when you actually bring a piano to sing, to, to, to make a sound like sustained sound, and uh, it's actually making a sustained sound which a normal piano never can do, because a piano normally hits a string, it has an attack and a decay, and the sound is gone. But this piano actually can sing, play for a long period of time. And that's kind of the introduction to uh, the music, the new music, where you can extend the cap capabilities of an instrument. Even when it's from the junkyard, that doesn't matter. Uh, it's, it's just like a, a sound which, which uh, you can only create uh, through these different uh, mechanisms. And slowly, some instruments are very slow, they need time, like nature needs time to get into vibration, like there are cycles, like uh, spring or summer or whatever. And, uh, and slowly, it, it comes up, and there's no loudspeaker.
management how to pay it and, and, uh, and know I'm leaving you know, tomorrow and uh, certain kind of kinetic objects need some kind of maintenance because it's rattling and moving and doing all this stuff. So, so we have here uh, these like Steve student from UA who uh, also takes care of it. Of course, Dallas was a tremendous help here to uh, get the show up. Uh, to do all the details and, and, and uh, so I, I had a very productive week here, like uh, from 9 till 9 or from 8 till 10 sometimes, so, uh, but it was worth to put the time in here and, and, uh, and, and again this, after this show, it's gone, it never will be done again and that's what I'm looking forward to. Thank you for coming. <laughs>